Hello, everyone. Welcome to ZNZ Classroom. I'm Mary, and in this episode, we're going to keep talking about transformation. However, in this case, we're talking about that f of x is actually defined in terms of x. So let's start. You will found that is this is pretty easy when you have this thing written over here. So let's start. For example, first, let's define f of x equal to x squared. So how am I going to apply the transformation over here to x squared? So like I said, I already have this thing over here written, right? And it's going to be really easy to apply to an actual defined function. So let me do my first step. So you'll be surprised that my first step is actually just replacing this x with everything inside this parentheses of f. So let's write that. So g of x equals to 9 x plus 5 squared. Then my next step is going to be written the thing outside over here, which is just a two. I'm gonna write a two over here. Um, let me change the color. That color doesn't really show. It's not good. Okay, let me change a darker green. So this two over here, I'm just gonna put in front of this function. See, it's pretty easy. This is actually completed. All right, let's move on to the second one. So I'm gonna use the same thing here f of x equal to x squared, then my g of x. Remember my first step is just replacing this x over here with the same inside of this parentheses. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write 9x plus five squared first. Then my next step is just putting a two in front. See, pretty easy, right? So now let's move on to number three. So maybe you can try on your own now. So let's do this. So f of x equal to x squared, right? So what my g of x is gonna be is g of x equal to replacing x with the same inside here, which is one fifth x minus 10 squared, right? And then I'm gonna write the thing outside, which is a negative and a minus seven. Negative minus seven, right? So pretty easy. And then my next one, which is exactly the same thing. I'm gonna have f of x, oh, exact same thing besides my minus seven becomes plus seven. I'm going to just use the same color here. Uh, my, okay, so g of x equals two. Oh, wait, where is that? I think this kind of stuff. Okay, so g of x equal to one fifth x minus 10 squared. See, this doesn't change, right? The only thing change is the outside, which is a small and minor change. So I'm just changing that to plus seven, which is the same thing. Then let's do number five. So for number five, it's actually something pretty interesting. So if I write, but this is kind of special to x squared functions. So x squared. So then I could write my g of x equal to negative four third x minus eight squared we're just gonna equal to four third x minus a squared. This makes sense because when you look at this, negative one squared equal to one. So that's how this negative one just disappeared in my second step because it's equal to one and one multiply everything, it's still that thing, right? So this, this part also gonna apply to absolute value function, which we'll talk in later episodes, but let me just uh, introduce you with a little bit of the absolute value function. So absolute value function basically means 
my distance from that point. So absolute value means the distance between a point to the origin. So distance obviously cannot be negative. So it's always positive. So that's why in my absolute value functions, my y value should always be positive unless there's a flip across the x axis or something like that. But let's look at absolute value function in this case. So f of x equal to absolute value of x. So now I'm replacing that x with the same inside negative now four third x minus eight, right? So this is just going to be absolute value of four third x minus eight because negative inside the absolute value function basically doesn't have an effect. Think about this, negative four absolute value equal to four and four absolute value also equal to four. So the negative, negative sign doesn't have an effect. So I can just like disregard it, okay? So let's move on to the last one. So try it on your own first and then let's start. So f of x equals x squared, g of x, let me write it over here, g of x equal to negative seven fifth Okay, let me still do the same color code. So negative seven fifth, and then seven fourth x minus 13 squared and minus 11. Okay, so don't confuse the negative sign here with the previous one as they're in different places. Remember that one is inside of my squared parentheses. That's why it becomes one. However, in here, my negative is outside, which you just write it there. It doesn't matter. So you don't change it. You just write it there. So negative seven fifth, seven fourth x score, x minus 13 and squared minus 11. So that is perfect. All right. So that's all for this episode. And we will see you in next episode. Thank you.